G'day guys, it's Mac Hansen from the Plus 500 Bundies. Uh, today I'm here with Joe Powell and we're going to show you how to make the best banana bread in the whole world. So, what am I starting off with Joe? Uh, so you'll add a few ingredients, so add the banana, the sugar, egg. Perfect, well I've added the brown sugar. Yeah, so if you yeah. get a banana. So I'm just going to add the banana now, the bananas are from Ziggy Fresh, so thanks to Ziggy's. Uh, best bananas, best fruit, veg, in all of Canberra. Add it in there. I'm just going to lightly beat the eggs here. And the key word there is lightly, you don't want to, you don't want to rough them up too much. Add that in there. Next, Joseph. And then chuck the butter in. Butter. How much butter is that? That's 40 grams, I believe, Matt. 40 grams. It's looking good already. And then we've got the milk. The milk. Yeah. Milk. Another sponsor, thank you to Canberra Milk. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna have to put this away, unfortunately. Don't wanna wreck all this beautiful milk, but I'll add that in. How much of that goes in there, Joe? 125 mil. Delicious. It's good to go. Yeah, so the treacle. The treacle? How much treacle? So the treacle, about 90 grams of that in there. So Joe, tell me a little bit about this treacle. What is treacle? Yeah, it's just a... <laughs> A little sugary syrup, I think. Ah, little sugary yeah, syrup. Oh, nice. Oh, it looks beautiful. Shout out to, to the treacle makers. So as you see, uh, me and Joseph are actually that one, uh, 1 1.5 meters apart because of the coronavirus. So still sticking to the rules. Uh, how are you doing in uh, in ISO, Joseph? Yeah, no, it's been good. Been up to much? Uh, a bit of running, a bit of gym. Yeah, yourself? Ah, uh, yeah, same, same actually. You've actually got a home gym just in the backyard, don't you? Yeah, yeah I do. Newly purchased squat rack, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah, thanks to the sponsors. Oh, yeah? You, um, what's, uh, what Netflix are you watching at the moment? Um, so I just finished Tiger King, actually. Yeah? Yeah. How's that going? Really good. I really enjoyed it. What uh, side are you on? Uh, Carol well, Uh, Look, you, you can't really pick a side. They're all... They're all a bit out there and doing the wrong thing, really, I believe. I, I can't stand Carol, though, for some reason. Do you want to yeah. explain what you're doing right now? Yeah, so right now I'm just mixing all the wet ingredients. So we want to put all those in first, uh, and then we add the all the flour and stuff in after. Tell them why, Joe. Uh, you just want to yeah, lightly uh, mix it in, not too much, otherwise it gets all thick. You'd like to have it a little bit lumpy, otherwise it won't cook properly. From, uh, yeah, past experience. A little bit, little bit, not too thick. Lumpy, lumpy's a good word. Actually, if you can kind of see that, it's very lumpy. So I guess that's what we want. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah. It's looking good. The, well, uh, I'm still still, still mixing it all around a little bit, Joe. So don't rush me. Okay. Thanks. So now just, yeah, so just start mixing the dry ingredients. So the dry ingredients, the okay. Flour. The flour. Yeah. The chuck it in the water. So this is plain flour, isn't it? Plain flour and self-raising the other one. And how much, uh, how much of that am I adding in? One and a half cups. Wow. It's a fair bit, isn't it? Mm. I'm just going to add a little bit in first, mix it around. How'd you go get this stuff into the shops, Matt? Was there flour there, obviously, was there? Yeah, no toilet paper. Yeah. Toilet paper is still a hot commodity for some reason. Um, so, invest in toilet paper is the best advice I can give you. <laughs> No, but the flour, that was all pretty easy to find, actually. And as I said, Ziggy's uh, provided these beautiful bananas. So, can't really complain. Nice. Another thing you can do to, to give this uh, banana bread a bit of a protein zing, you can just add this protein here. It's, uh, yeah, just to, just to make it a little bit healthier for you as well. I've got to add, uh, now I've got to add some mixed spice, I believe, Joe. Yeah, so mixed spice, so two teaspoons of that. Two teaspoons. Is this a tablespoon? What's a teaspoon? Uh, TSP, I think it is. That's. T yeah. Got it. So two of those, big fella. I'm just gonna do it over the bottle. Haven't got the steadiest hands in the world. Yeah, that's. That's one. Now another one. I've got the steadiest hands because of all the training I've been doing. I'm a bit fatigued. Still keeping on top of uh, 
everything, you know? That's yeah, done. While you're there, you may as well just chuck in the, the bike car yeah, as well. That. So one teaspoon as well. One teaspoon, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, that? Fucking no. Uh, huh? Yeah, just, yeah, pop the lid. Oof. As you can see, I'm doing this over a, over a bowl just to stop a bit of mess. So, just the little things that help when cooking. How many times you cook this banana bread, mate? Oh. Too many to count, Joe. It's actually an old family recipe. It is, is it? No, no, it's not. But it is good. Yeah. It is delicious. Awesome. Yeah, we'll keep mixing. Hey, That's good. I think this is real good. Do you want to actually swap in and have a look at it? No, I think you can do the pouring. Do. You can pour it in. Or you can. Here, I'll. One. There you, you go. You stay there. If you just want to pass me that at an arm's distance. Thank you. And then the paper as well. Can you tell me what you've actually done with the So what we've done here is we've just slightly greased the pan with a bit of butter. And then we've got a bit of baking paper. Now I'm interested, why use butter and baking paper? I thought it was, you know, one or the other really. Yeah, well that's a great question. And probably not many people know the answer to that one, Matt. Um, it's just so that the, as you can see here, that it's the uh, the paper is sticking to the side of the tray, so it makes okay, it easy to pour okay. in. Yeah, no, that's actually that's rather yeah. smart. So now I'll just pour it all in there. Oh, and that's that looks really good, Mac. And just so just before I do this, I'll turn the oven on. This okay. Should already be. What do we What do we get the heat up to? So this heat is just one sixty. So that's yeah, just on one sixty. Okay. There. Okay. So. Do you need to preheat the oven? Yeah, so or... preheat, so okay. we just turn that off before, so it's already pretty warm. Nice. It's also looking out for the environment. Yeah, that's always important. It is. Yeah, so let's put all this in. Do you like liquid bomber? Yes, please. Jeez, it looks good. Thanks, mate. Yes. And while Matt's licking the bowl, I'll just tear this paper up a little bit. All right, Joe, do you want to chuck it in the oven? Yeah, so what temperature is that at, Mac, again? I think we're putting it in at 160, you said, wasn't 160. it? 160, for how long? For about an hour. Yeah, for an hour. Yeah, if, if you're looking at it, it just doesn't look right. Obviously, you can, yeah. you, can, you can put it in for a little bit longer, a little bit less. It's up to you. It's your banana bread, make it how you feel. Yeah, you're That's changing. just what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But how, was, how was the mix? Oh. How's it taste? Really good. <laughs> Astonishing. Awesome. Super right. hot. So what do you want to do while waiting? Well guys, the hour's up, and here is the uh, the famous banana bread. Just about to cut into it, see how it see how it's cooked. <whistles> see how it goes. 